Hello everyone, and welcome back to Turtle Rock Animal Orphanage, where today is a day of reckoning, because I am not going to be defeated by these fancy chickens, and we are indeed going to not only have a beautiful, beautiful zoo, we are not only going to be able to complete all of the challenges that we need to in order to take ownership of Turtle Rock Animal Orphanage and finally add in some of the animals I want to add in, but we are also going to tell these peafowl, who's who, by um, actually doing our best to get these guys like cured and and cleaned up we have an official poop scooper now so i think that should make things for our peafowl a little bit better uh but while we are wrestling with these peafowl and their chaos i do think it is important to carry on with some of the other challenges that we are facing like trying to have at least eight different habitat species in our zoo and releasing three different habitat species to the wild for or Vista points and improving our conservation rating. Uh, also, we need to power everything with renewables and I do not think we currently have our mechanics researching the renewables, but we do have them researching, yay! The conservation theme is completed, woo! We're going to go ahead and we are definitely going to see what we can unlock now that we've got that. But let's get our archaeologist Caitlin, or architect Caitlin, pardon me, researching power so that we can get the renewable resources working. Uh, and then let's also go ahead and check how the vet research is going. Excellent, excellent. Preswaltskis are almost complete. And we are working on making the Amur leopard a lot happier. So let me check. Looks like all of the peafowl are being properly taken care of. I see poop! I see poop that needs scooped! Weep, 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 weep! Keeper urgently assigned. We have one whole keeper whose entire job is to scoop this poop. So hopefully they'll be in here very soon. <laughs> and then let's come through. And we are going to go ahead. We're going to improve the food quality for all our animals slowly but surely. And... Now that we have all of these guys on contraceptives, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to release all of the ladies, all of the female peafowl, basically, into the wild. We're going to send them to another facility, and we're just going to turn this into a bachelor zone. We have to wait for all of the other peafowl to grow up, but I think having one, two, three, four, five, we have five males and like 13 babies. So I think having, having just a bunch of bachelor peafowl is going to play out perfectly for us and make things a little bit better. Um, and we're going to name some of these bachelor peafowl after you guys because uh, I think that would be kind of fun. They're going to be beautiful, like gorgeous birds. We're going to really revamp their exhibits. In fact, let's actually do a little bit of that revamping right now to make things a little nicer so people can kind of see what's going on with some nice glass. Now you have uninterrupted views of peafowl poop and peafowl butts. I'm sure that's what everybody was hoping for. Uh, and then let's name all of the boys after you guys real quick because I think that'd be great. So I'm going to use the random generator and we're actually going to name the fanciest peafowl in here after poor Rones. Rones, I am so sorry that I have renamed our... Uh, oops, what is going on over there? Mechanic urgently requested, please. I am so sorry that I actually went and I renamed the Amur Leopard to Mango. Please forgive me, but I love the name Mango for that leopard so much that I am going to actually leave it. Uh, however, whoever our fanciest, most appealing peafowl is in this, it's, it's this guy right here. This, Lucius? That sounds suspiciously like somebody else's name. All right, what is the fanciest animal we have in the entire zoo? The highest appeal is mango again. <laughs> but we haven't named the oxalotl. Are you kidding? Okay, I can do that. Hang on. We're going to have this be, this is going to be Roan's uh, River Discoveries. There we go, Roan's. Now you're going to forever be remembered. And we're gonna go ahead and come in. Can I get a male axolotl? Like that is very important to me and relevant to my personal interest. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that's an, an iguana. Can I get an axolotl? Like, yeah, I want, I want to see, 
none right now. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to just keep an eye out for a male axolotl and keeping that going. But we can go ahead and we will name the female in here. Sarah, after Sarah Brock. And Sarah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for wishing me a lovely holiday weekend. I spent it with my beloved husband, Chips, and it was delightful. And then... All right, let's wiggle over here. Oh, and then we have Kylie the Kiwi. Kylie! I love the idea that over here we should make a hanging gardens with shops like a garden shed and tea shops. That is so thoughtful and I absolutely want to be working on that. Oh, that's adorable. I love the ideas that you guys come up with, especially when they're related to plants. Uh, and I, oh, that's really delightful. I'm going to put down a fern or two. Let me grab some of the, like we have a huge pile of ferns in here. So I know it's gonna be a good spot, but I was actually thinking I wanted to like make some overhangs of plants over here and We'll put a few ferns just to kind of remind me like that's one of the things I want to do Oh, the flamingos are going to mate. How delightful We'll have some little flamingo babies Flamingos tend to mate for life my friends, which sounds like a big big obligation as a bird um and one of the things that fascinates me about that is that flamingos perform a dance in order to convince one another, like, hey, you wanna, you wanna like mate for life? They have this elaborate courtship dance that they kind of do as, as like the whole flock, as the young bachelors and bachelorettes get off and they pair off and do a dance. And for some reason that reminds me of like, what if you had high school prom, but high school prom kind of determined whether or not you found your mate for the rest of your life and it was a dance-off? Ah! <laughs> oh, when I compare that to like the way peafowls live, it just feels really like stressful. <gasps> Look, we have little cute conservation benches now! Oh, adorable! Uneven placement, my foot! Alright, let's see. Do we want these? Or like, to be honest, the New World benches? These kind of look really nice and sleek and then, well, I mean, when you compare it to everything else we have, you know what, having just like a cute little garden bench that somebody kind of yeeted up into this corner, that's fine. And we do not have, we do not have spots for people to donate their dollars. We'll correct that as we need dollars. We like dollars here. It, oh wait, we do have a spot for them to donate their dollars. Well, do I have a spot over by our leopard? Oh dear Siri. I do not. Oh, oh, oh geez. Uneven pace placement all over again. All right. Well, let's finish naming the peafowl and then we'll come back to all of our other little projects as time goes on. Uh, let's come down. So Lucius, I think you were already named. Then we have this male. And this is going to be, dun dun dun, Polar. Polar, I agree. These guys are pea brained and we absolutely need <laughs> to remove some of them, which is why this is going to be like a boy zone from now on. And then this one is going to be Star after Star Studios. And Star, I love the idea of naming a female leopard peach. Oh, that's one of my other favorite foods. I might actually make peach pizza tonight because you can make an amazing pizza with peaches. Just saying. Oh, yeah, Chips and I have like this delicious gluten-free uh, like pizza bread that we have to make because I'm a sensitive bean and now I have to be very careful with how much gluten I eat. But the more important part of the pizza, not only is the fresh peaches, but it is the vegan mozzarella that we have that's so good. Mm, I love it. All right, meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and name this last peafowl Wonder. So Wonder, welcome, welcome. I think that now gives all of the grown-up male peafowl names. It does. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to wiggle over here and do a little bit of education now. Because, ooh, vet research is complete! Ince, 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 ince. Really getting some of that research for the leopards. Uh, but we need to raise the conservation rating, right? For this facility in particular, which means educating people. Which means we don't want the African drum song, even though I'm pretty proud about that one. I want, 
I wish you could like filter by unlocked my filters. Yeah, like stuff that's actually available. Hmm. That's a volcano. Ooh, a volcano shop shell. Well, I don't think there were a lot of volcanoes in the Mongolia Plateau. So we're going to just leave that gently to the side and revisit that concept later. Uh, you know what? The compact habitat thing actually works really well with the conservation designs. And it has a speaker. So let's put this puppy right over here. Yay! More of our Przewalskis are getting ready to mature. Here we go. And let's start teaching everybody who lingers over here about peafowl. And we do need to take it a couple steps further than just peafowl as well. Because if we really want people to kind of learn what they need to, habitat camera, we could do some videos. Hmm. Do I have a nice... Hmm. There's a nice conservation board. I would love to put that one in. That's very pretty. I think we need to unlock the... Um, South American stuff, if I want to use that one. The things people have built. That's one of the, like, joys of my life is... Oh, this one's really good. Uh, is digging through some of the really, really beautiful and creative things that people have actually made for, like, the Planet Zoo Gallery on Steam. Because to me, that just represents, like, people's creativity displayed so beautifully, usually to, like, make it so that you can teach more about the natural world, and I'm all about that. All right, so we're going to teach about deforestation. And let's do ecotourism. And then we'll wiggle this way. And we're going to add... This is going to be poaching because you're about to enter the pangolin area. And let's do popula population fragmentation. And it's been a while since we've seen our horses and somebody is about to grow up. Hello, lovely. We need to have another keeper in here just to scoop the poop for the foals, I think. Hi, pretty. Oh, I'm so proud of their exhibit. I would love to make another Vista Point just like admiring all of this. I mean, look at them. Are you going to grow up? Like, I'm feeling pretty frisky about it. That does mean we probably will start having some of the younger foals start growing up. Oh, Brugie has matured? <gasps> there we go! Oh my gosh, she's beautiful, you guys. Oh, how big? I mean, I guess we don't really have data that I would consider super valid about just how big the herds of Przewalski horses could be. Um, and we're going to call this the uh, Wild Horse Meadows. And we don't really have like good evidence because it's been I think over a hundred years, like close to a hundred years since they roamed in the wild in like real numbers. So Let's see, have we named everybody? Did we have Finn born? Did we name Finn or was Finn just like, did he get that name on his own? Cause I'm pretty sure we had Tamur. Tamur, I think was born whilst we weren't looking, maybe. But that name also sounds kind of cool. So we'll leave it. I'll just try to keep a closer eye on if our Prozwaltskis are pregnant. Yes, and we have completed research about them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as much as I want to go ahead and just like leave that to continue on so that we could just like get the bonus boost because I think the advanced research bonus, what happens if you have the advanced research bonus? Do you get like more breeding? Actually, I'm curious, what happens? I, I I don't think I've ever really found a satisfactory answer. So let me actually look that up real quick. Advanced research bonus, what does it do? It raises the education gained by your guests from the information speakers and boards placed at your habitats and exhibits. So it raises education levels. So it doesn't seem to do anything about like the breeding opportunities and chances, which would be lovely. 
But I think if we're gonna do that, we kind of need to have education raised for like all of our animals. So let's go ahead and carry on with the Indian peafowl. <laughs> no, 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 let's do the Shimar Tor the Scimitar Horned Oryx because it's one of the new animals. Uh, but I feel like our pea brain peafowl, they're demanding an audience. All right. So now that all of that has been taken care of, we can finally turn our attentions back to our cat. If I can find the mate that I have been looking for. I feel really, really like my hands are being tied here because I feel like the mates I'm trying to find for our Amira Leopard are just not appearing, which is not fun. Oh, Cyber Queen! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have more babies! Or are we gonna have more foals? Let's find out. Yes! <laughs> we are gonna have more foals. Oh, that makes me very happy. All right, well, let's see. What can we work on next? I think the Amir Leopard. And if they won't have me more, if they won't let me have more leopards, what can I have? We already have the pangolin. We could get our paws on a giant panda. That would be probably pretty good. We can have bears. Oh, the macaques. I, I really struggled when I used to have macaques. I feel like I'm a much, 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 much better zookeeper now than two years ago when I started and I like murdered all of my macaques. It was tragic. Um, so we might work with them. We could also have little red pandas and the simian. I really think that it would be fun to have those guys too because they are one of the new creatures and it would be really fun to see how they move. So let's actually focus on the new guys for sure. I think putting the simian over here is a good idea. So we're gonna, we'll, we'll do that next time. We'll focus on their area over here next time. And for now, let's come up here and we're definitely going to make the leopards area a lot less treacherous. <laughs> and a lot more like something we can actually have people engage in. So let me see, flatten to surface, flatten to foundation. Maybe if we come in here, I kind of want people to be able to like have a spot they can walk out here and a flat zone that makes like a little cliff. Oh my gosh, there's so much litter. You litter bugs, ugh. I wanna put a couple of little shops like up along the way, like pretending they're little information stations. Um, and then I would like people to be able to like walk a little path up here, like into the Amir leopard habitat. And I want the leopard to be able to have like a bit of a zone this direction. I guess they would need to be glass. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's see. Yeah, I want people to be able to see our beautiful leopard. And be able to walk up. So we should probably make the path first before I get ahead of myself. And then let's see, can I, oh, are all these together? Oh dear. <laughs> yes, I would like to maybe a mixed selection of various things. Well, can I move you all out of the way for just a second? That is not going to go the way I hope, is it? Because, okay, let's, we're gonna have to shrink this down. Yes, hello? Apparently some of you guys are connected. Oh, I hate it, but we're gonna have to remove those trees so I can see what I'm doing. All right, well, don't worry, there will be more trees. And then if I want to make this cool path I'm dreaming about that people can like walk up into the forest, let's do a really big, big spot. Can I do a big spot? I can if I'm careful. Ooh, yay, we have more pangolin babies. I mean, they tend to do pretty well. I wonder how well they breed in captivity. That does make me question that. Ooh, we've got more vet research complete. Is that everything we need to know? Ooh, the Amir Leopards chugging along. We have some really good researchers amongst our staff now that we have started to properly train people. So here's what I'm thinking. Kind of like a cool circle like this. 
And then we'll expand the habitat to be able to come out. And then... Yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> It's not as even as I hoped, but it's you you guys have seen how much I struggle with just making this even fun like basic tiny itty bitty level functional. So I am ecstatic about just getting this much done. Um let's wiggle this way. And then let's actually lower the terrain here a little bit. If I can. Because I want the leopard to be able to come down into this location and be able to like see the people. So we'll have like a nice big flat zone, but then he can walk around this curved part. Yes! Okay! <laughs> now we need to remember, okay that's great and all, but don't let him escape theory and let's wiggle over here. Very pretty, very pretty indeed. And then uh, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of make it surround like so. And then pop this way. And then we can go back to, unfortunately, the concrete just for a while. All right. And one day I will replace this concrete with much nicer facilities of all type. Okay, now connect. Yes, okay, so that's now connected. Slowly but surely, we shall make this not so terrible. <laughs> All right. But for now, pardon the fact that this is going to look a little rough while I get it moving and grooving so that we can at least just have our leopard have a lot more space. Mango! I will get you a peach as soon as I can. Alas. There we go. All right, that should make him much happier. Oh, the water is finally clean too. Okay, also, did he escape? <laughs> no, he did not. All right, there he is. Oh, he's taking a little snooze. There we go, you guys. Well, while he is resting, let's actually come in and try to make this a nicer zone for him. And then we'll start figuring out how we can like distribute a whole bunch of the trees and we can redo the walls so that they're just like mostly, mostly lovely patches of plants and rocks that he can't get past. Like over here, we could probably do a deep like gulf, a really, really deep gulf that kind of like goes into a river that can come down over here. I think that would be quite lovely. Uh, all right, so he's got so much more space now. That's fantastic. We can actually just straight up see what kind of plants he would like and we can start sprinkling some of those in. Some nice mosses, what do you guys say? Some cowberry bushes. We can get in some big old rocks. Everybody loves a big old rock in Planet Zoo, right? That's why you guys are here. I thought it was for the animals, but no, you're here for the rock designs. Oh, I should have known that you guys were like secretly geologists this entire time and not like wannabe biologists. You, you should have just said something, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. We can sneak in a few nice rocks and try to distribute them in a way. There we go. That will just make it a little, a little more fun to kind of be over here and looking at stuff. All right, let's see. Nice flat boy rock. Ooh, nice flat boy rock. Ooh, that's kind of lovely. Please don't use it to like jump off and like try to eat people. <laughs> Mango. <laughs> he might use that to jump off and try <laughs> try to like make a run for it. Not that he would eat people. Like that's, a, that's an exaggeration because you don't want to make people think that like all of the predators are, they're dangerous, but the, and they might eat you. That's true, but that's not like their default setting as a wild animal. It's to get away from the scary, scary humans. Oh, there we go. Oh, here he is. Hey, Mango. Let's see if we can get him a peach. And then we will come back in 
we will make this a little nicer after we get like our simians in as well so that hopefully we can start having some of their babies uh, on the way for the conservation efforts and we will try our best to hurry and complete the the work that we must do to show that we are worthy of having this place as our own so that we can scooch it on over into sandbox mode and then be able to add in some of the animals I'm dreaming about, like our beautiful red-crowned cranes. One of my favorite birds, and I miss them so. Oh, I love creating nature out of an empty template, like a, a blank canvas, and giving some beautiful animals a place to call home. There we go. Lovely. Look at him. He likes it. <laughs> oh, already testing the boundaries of your new area, are we, Mango? Uh, big, beautiful exhibit. Can I please... No, it's still just males at the moment. But we're going to keep an eye out. We are going to try to find... A male axolotl! Yes! Oh my gosh. We've got a male axolotl for our lady! We just might have some baby axolotls on the way, and we have at least made progress with some of the mechanic research today. Whooped! All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Mango! I was wondering why people weren't looking at his amazing new exhibit, even though, like, I was really proud about it. Spoilers! <laughs> you need to build the path to it, Siri. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Can I get it? Ah, oh, dang it. Bye-bye. Ah,